Face off one by the Cats. They'll throw it deep. Cats off sides here. Rohar having to reset. There's Juris. He'll set it up for set it up for Akron. McLaughlin putting some pressure on him though. Juris coming up the right hand side. He's going to look for the open one, or he's taking himself. And penalty oh, coming no, up. That's going to be Hubbard again. And another penalty on UK. Hubbard. Is that his second? That's his second of the night. So a two-minute penalty on Hubbard with uh, 6.36 left in the first period. So Hubbard again. And <laughs> Coach Dockerty making the catch off the uh, out of play there. And the fans enjoy that one. They'll cheer at anything here. <laughs> the fans are having a good time tonight. That's what it's all about here at the Lexington Ice Center. Don't forget Akron back in town again tomorrow night. We'll have be right back here at the Ice Center. And another midnight start. You know, that, that was the one thing that I thought was really weird. I looked on the schedule and it said midnight, and I was like, You're like really? Really? <laughs> Yeah, no, that's there's a shot and that's kicked away. We'll talk about that here at the break here. So now all the way down and it'll kill some time off for McLaughlin. Billy putting some pressure on Juris there. Yeah, able to take glass it away. Yeah, nice poke there from Glass and the Cats are able to move the puck along here. Here's McLaughlin deep. He gets pinned up against the board. It's three. Three zips on one Wildcat. Now Dixon will take it for the zips. He's having problems moving along, finally does. Moving in at the top of the zones, Revac. Almost sets up the one-timer and they clear it. Cats with a good clear there. That's gonna kill a little bit of time off. Here's Dixon to set it up again. 38 seconds left on the penalty. Scott taking it in the circle, poked away from Lions or by Lions. Now puck, puck, the puck pinned up against the boards here. Cats able to clear. Rohar putting some pressure on deep in the zone. Here's Hatso again. Rohar able to deflect that pass. Scott will go pick it up for Akron. Eight seconds remaining in the penalty to Hubbard, and Kentucky has successfully cleared another one off. No kill this penalty without any consequences. Got a battle down here. Number three and number 19. Are they going to drop the gloves? Rohar and Hatso. Nope. The rush will come in right before they start. Here in the ACHA, you drop the gloves, you're automatically done for the night. So. Yeah. I know a lot of these guys probably won't want to risk that right now, especially especially coming up on uh, Showcase Weekend for Kentucky. Yeah. But, um, especially with a 1-1 game here in the first period. This early, you don't want to do that. So 434 remaining, and we got some more penalties coming up here. I think Rohar may, may take the worst of this one. Yeah, that's a five-minute penalty. Woo. I believe it was for headbutting. So Rohar gets a five, and Hatso will get a two. I believe they were exchanging words, and uh, uh, UK came up to came up to Akron and he headbutted them. I believe that's yeah, that was, got, that was Rohar there. Yeah. Five. We'll get the official call. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were thinking. So yeah, that'll be the headbutt. That'll be the that'll be the call on Rohar because that's an automatic five. Not typical of Rohar. Not not that aggressive when it comes to uh, when it comes to situations like that. So you know, as I've been watching here, I, I I've seen a lot of aggressiveness aggressiveness from both teams, and it, it's it's been a wonderful game so far. Very spirited play by both sides. And so 
see what's going on there. Okay, so they took the penalty off for, the penalty comes off for Akron. So they probably have matching, the matching penalties down here and then uh, Rohar got the five for the headbutt, so. So huge opportunity here for Akron. Mind you that if Kentucky, if Akron scores, Kentucky will not get Rohar out of the box. You must serve all five minutes. That's Salomon there, wearing McFadden jersey tonight. Puck coming up the left-hand side. A Kentucky able to poke it back in. Whitman becoming a bit of a catalyst here. He'll get over to Salomon. Salomon will play it back out. Good movement of the puck here by the Cats to kill some time off this penalty. There's Juris to chase it down. Turn back over to Kentucky. Cats still trying to push it in. Does so, and they'll just throw it deep there, killing some time off. Akron there to play it, though. Kentucky causing some issues for this Akron power play. There's a shot and save. Kentucky able to get one on just like that. That was Salomon. And that one's going to go length of the ice from Akron. We'll have a face-off. It looks like they're having some issues getting that power play started. They, they really do right now. It's a, it's a five on four, and they, they're just having trouble right now. The UK defense is, is really stepping it up on this power play. And that has prompted Akron to call a timeout here. Coach Gigotti making a few, few adjustments here for the power play. 3.42 remaining in the penalty to Rohar. Three sixteen remaining here in the first period of action. Both teams taking a timeout here. Aaron Rose alongside Nick Kennel from Akron Hockey. Once again, we thank you for tuning in to AkronHockey.com and CoolCatsHockey.com. Don't forget all you Zips fans. Uh, we're taking on West Virginia Mountaineers for the home opener October 7th. All home games are played at the Center Sports Ice Complex at uh, 5319 Port Jackson Avenue in Northwest Canton, Ohio. There you go. So all you Zip fans, go check out the home opener, and like I said before, if you've never seen the game of college hockey, this is the time to go. And penalty coming up. Hooking gonna be the call. And I do believe going in, it will be Bernie. Corey Bernie going in, so that negates part of this power play here for Akron. Just part of it, not all of it. They're still gonna have about buck 39 left as Bernie gets out of the box. So that was just a freshman mistake by Bernie. He needs to uh, he needs to limit that, that from his game. So face off for one by the Cats. A lot of room here. Kentucky thrives with the with all the room on the ice. Boss out for Kentucky. Now playing it deep as Dixon here. Trying to break out, here comes Juris up the left-hand side. He'll move it toward the middle. Now back out to the wing and offside your call. And we'll have another face-off. 2.53 remaining on the clock here at the Lexington Ice Center here in our first period of action. Mind you, Kentucky and Akron back at it tomorrow night. We'll take the air at 11.45. For the midnight start, here comes Kentucky moving along. Right hand side trying to cut in. Oh, having some issues in doing so. And Goes hard into the glass. Salomon just, he wipes out hard after that. Salomon trying to move it back in there. Uh, Gats was going after it. He couldn't do it because Salomon was off sides. Smart heads up play there from Gats to keep the, keep the puck moving. Top of the zone, Cats moving along, cross over to get shoots, scores! Pat Whitman! 
Kentucky making this one two to one. 214 remaining. Both both sides remain with the penalty because we were e even strength on that goal. Nice movement there from Whitman to Getz. Yes, very nice. It was uh it was taken off a very bad pass from Akron, and they had the two-on-one advantage, and uh, they, they took advantage of it. And it's so why they call it an advantage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll still have the four-on-four here. Akron moving along here. That's Burke moving it up. Lines with some pressure on him, though. Burke throws it back out to the circle. Shot, that sails wide. Oh, what a check there! Over the Lions floor. puts him over! I think that was the biggest check I've seen in a, quite a long time here at the Ice Center. That was a very big check. And got some, over the board. I think the official... I think the official got popped, too. I don't know if he got checked or the clock got him. Madness going on here at the yeah. Lexington Ice Center. The referee is has his hands on his knees, bent over. Something's wrong with him. That's going to be replay worthy of the check yeah. over on the far side. I, I was too busy watching the check instead of the referee. Lions, I, I don't know who he got a hold of. I, I believe it was number seven, maybe. I have no clue who that was. I, that was far over on the other side. I didn't see him after he got up. It took him a few seconds to get up after he got checked over yeah, the Yeah, that was, and these boards here at the Lexington Ice Center are not very forgiving at all. Yeah. It's an older board, very thick. So when you go in, it's gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. Even with all the pads. Things, things have heated up here at the Ice Center. They really have. This crowd is getting rowdy, and uh, both teams are giving both their best. McCats moving it along again. Top of the zone. Tries to get around one, does McLaughlin. He'll just play it deep as he sets the puck. Galvin now. Pressure on by Whitman. Akron moving it along. Way to get out of the zone there. Five seconds remaining, and they'll go back on the power play. Here's Lions. Lions moving it along. Turned over. They got a two on one here. Cross up. And they'll score. Nice get around there. Very nice uh, check from, or not check, sorry. Nice goal there. Uh, I believe that was, was that Searle again? Yeah, his second goal of the night. Searle just beat Bougie there with a very, very nice move. So again, we're knotted up at two. And mind you, since Rohar's in, the, in for a major, still on the power play is Akron. So huge opportunity here for the Zips. Yeah, a minute 27 left on that power play, and uh, Zips are ready to take advantage of it. Here's Beardsley deep. Wrapped around. We're knotted up at two. A very solid game here at the ice center. What Big a check. check into the boards by the Zips. This is gonna be an aggressive game. It's only the first period. Yes. 44 seconds remaining here in the first. Cats trying to clear, kept back in. Graham trying to poke it away. Hard pass will move it to the boards. Beardsley taken down. Now poked away by Bougie. Puck in behind the net, nice check there. Puck at the point, misses on the slapper. And the defense able to collapse there on Graham. Number 19 has to. It's a great poke check in there. Good, good defense there on the Akron's behalf collapsing on Graham. That's gonna be the end of the period and we got a penalty to end it. 